What's good, people? At the time of this here recording, it's like, I don't know, like July, not damn, not July, damn, uh, January like 5th or some shit like that. And I'm saying this because you see I got my double XP booster activated. That was for snowball fights. Anyways, uh, this is my second channel. So if you enjoy what you see here, then subscribe to that their channel because I do this live on that channel. But yeah, back to what I was saying though. It was the start of the year when I was making this here video. And if you recall, the previous video, I went crazy with the motion. So I said, you know what, bro? Let me try this again and make sure it's not a fluke. So I tried it again. And this is what happened. Now, I'm going to say what is blatantly obvious, blatantly obvious, because I know there are some naysayers in my in my comment section that are that are like, Jet, how do you aim so well? You got to have aimbot or some shit like that. Well, folks, if I had aimbot, all three of these people would have been dead, but I only killed two. If I had aimbot, I would hit 100% of my shots and I don't. But this kill right here. I ain't going to say nothing else, but look at his name. This was important. It, it was, if I didn't get this man right here, I'd be dead. Plain and simple. If I had any other weapon but this Mosin, this guy would be alive. You see, people, I'm entering into my stun gun era. As in, I'm really starting to like weapons that stun people. And, you know, back in the day, the stun was different. I can't remember what the animation was, but it was different. So, do I like this one more than the other one? Oh yeah, because it slows them down. And all you need to do is hit one easy ass follow up shot and they're gone. So, yes, I, I, I do like this uh, new stun, anima stun animation. If you want to call it new, because it's been out for a while now. People, when I tell y'all, this gun and I, this is what I needed in my life. This is what I needed. I remember saying, like, when the L96 first came out, I said, bruh, can we just get a M82 without a scope? Or this gun without a scope? And I guarantee you, it'll be great. The devs already did that. With the Mosin. I, and I just never played it. I just never did. But it took yesterday to really show me the power of the Mosin Nagant. Then it took the day, well, 
well, yesterday meaning yesterday's upload because today it's like freaking January 16th but it took yesterday's upload and well it took yesterday's upload to really show me the power of the motion and it took today's upload as in this year video to show me what it can do when it's not at the most optimum level as in far away people uh not underneath any pressure xyz abc one two three you know what i'm trying to tell you right but here's the thing about this gun if you can't see far you won't get kills the whole point of this gun aiming down sight is you're supposed to see people far away before you even aim because when you do aim this gun's bullet velocity is so damn good and a bullet drop is nigh neg uh, negligible that if you shoot at somebody you see far away you're going to hit them you're going to this thing is just like 95 percent accurate this rifle's built for guys like me who have great eyesight not necessarily steady hand but great eyesight now here's something that i forgot to tell you all you can tell when your uh opponent sees you because they start running differently you know what i'm saying the guy that i first aimed at he didn't start running until i aimed at him because i got closer to him then he started zigzagging he knew he was spotted what happens when you don't know that you're spotted? And by the way, I should be dead. Look at my chest. Someone's above me. Alright, now I know what y'all are saying. Oh, and by the way, hold on, before I go on that tangent, we have an L96, a Molson, an LD5, an MP5. I wish I could take three guns back with me, but I can't. So against my better judgment, I'm, go I'm going to destroy the MP5 and take L96. I mean, damn, L86. I really want to take the MP5. I really wanted to, but I don't feel like I'm alone. And yes, we all know that L86 can pull off headshots. Uh, I've shown it multiple times on this here channel. But we're on field hunting during the daytime. If I see somebody and I hit them, they're gone with a Mosin. I can't do that with an MP5. MP5 is meant for close range, silent ass assassination headshots. You simply don't do that on field hunting. But back to uh, what I was about to say. I wanted to use the motion on that guy, but he was so damn close and he had an L85. If I would have hit him once, sure, he would have been stunned. But he would have been so close to where it wouldn't have even mattered. And, oh, would you look at that. Someone's right there. Now, when I say right there, do I mean in the cavern or on top of the mountain? Well, that's the thing. We don't know. So, all we can really do is what's the word guess and at this moment in time i'm looking up there on that hill and i don't see anybody right so i'm going to assume or guess rather that dude is in a cavern camping the exit like a raincoat and by the way we we've seen it happen multiple times on the second channel multiple times So it's kind of crazy throughout all of that, right? All of that. We are only just now approaching the midway point of the game. Only just now. And before y'all say anything, remember people, it's the start of January at the time of this recording. It's the start of January. Santa Claus is still here. Now, this does not mean, I repeat, does not mean when you boot up Vigor and go into your little encounter, you're not going to see Santa Claus. You're not. This is an old video, people. You'll be surprised the amount of people that be like, bro, what the fuck? Well, Santa Claus? I thought he was gone. He is gone. Damn. Anyways, um, people, I'm a bit mean. I, I don't know what to tell you. You just got to deal with it, man. But then again, that's why I'm still here making YouTube videos. Yeah, just gotta deal with it. Anyways, alright. Sit rep, 
We got an M80, wait, Mosin, and an L86. Plenty of ammunition to boot. Uh, my body armor is gone, but that doesn't matter. And I still have my what's about me. I don't feel tired. I don't feel like I'm being hunted. And yeah, I, I feel pretty, pretty comfortable, if you will. I feel pretty comfortable. Now, actually, I have one more charger body armor, which is crazy, but I haven't put it on yet because I don't feel like I'm in danger, which is uh, quite a dangerous thing to do, might I add, a dangerous thing to do. But I also have one more port. So, you know, there's that. All right, cool. Aerodrop is now covered in radiation. Whoever goes for it is going to die. Or at least I think they're going to die. You see, trying to set a booby trap airdrop, or like radiated airdrop on field content is kind of difficult. Because there's an exit in the center of the map. You can't really put the airdrop anywhere where it's going to be guaranteed to kill somebody because the exit's too far. That kind of sucks. But I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to leave that thought right there because there's some uh, things I want to talk about in a future video. Now, we're down here. Pretty much uh, near where I started at. Right? And I'm running and I'm thinking to myself, Bert, you know what? Let me just uh, hit this second port one good time. Or at least keep it in my hand. Okay, cool. Now I hit it. And oh shit. That wasn't a transmitter. That's a person. Well then, turns out that was not a transmitter or a raincoat inside of a cavern. This was a full auto bugle sweat. Huh. It's kind of like the Mosin, even though I didn't use it, but it's kind of like the Mosin is a, an underrated sweat killer of a gun. Or rifle in this case. Well, I mean, a rifle is a gun, but you know what I'm trying to say. Huh. It's almost like, if you know what to do with a Mosin, then you know what to do with any other gun. I'm not saying a Mosin's easy to use, it's, it's actually the, the opposite. It's hard to use, because you have to know how to aim. With an assault rifle, you have multiple rounds in a clip, and you can put them down range. With a Mosin, you only have five, and you're vulnerable for about a second and a half between those five. So, you know, the Mosin requires skill. Just like a VSS, just like an MP5, just like a damn A74K, you gotta know how to aim and keep your burst short, right? People, this gun, I just can't get over it. I I just can't. It's great. Now I know I used the L86 for the last two kills, but if I didn't get the first two of the Mosin, I wouldn't be alive right now, or back in the house right now alive. You know what I'm saying? So, listen. If you want a challenge and you want to feel good about how you shoot and how you aim in this game, take out a Mosin. But like I said, but like I said in the uh, previous video, this is your warning. And again, this is only the beginning. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.